Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. We have our uh, first... Ladies, excuse me. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> already Starting on, out strong. <laughs> already on a bad foot. We have our first guest. Hello. I'm a little nervous. I know. Are you nervous? Very. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Oh, thanks. I'm a big believer seconds. in this show, so oh, you guys yeah. have nothing to worry about. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I thought it would be appropriate to start off, since we're comedians, yeah. oh, no. with... Uh, one-liner. Yeah, get it. I googled dark humor. Uh-huh. And then... This one are one-liners from both of us. It it's is a from group both joke. of us. Okay. Because Sarah didn't want the pressure... No. ...of finding her own joke. I, I need more than five minutes to come up with a good joke. Sure. Yeah. That's just a rule. Well, it takes a six. You need more than five minutes to Google a joke <laughs> to come up with. <laughs> okay. And then because this show is so centered around gerbils... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That gerbils is a it's big a, one. It's a hamster joke. Yeah, let's okay. get it. My hamster died today. He fell asleep at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I had others, but I'm just going to go with that one. Wow, that's wheelie messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, who left a review. We have over 100 reviews on Apple Podcasts. Wow. Um, Leave some more, guys. Oh, thanks. And girls. Excuse um, me. Ladies. Jeez. <laughs> Here I am. Guys only show. Yeah. Um, I know that's what you're used to. I'm used to. Yeah. yeah. It's all dudes. Um, so I thought we would read a couple. Yeah. Okay. Here's uh, here's one of my favorites. Oops. Give me one Oops. Second. I subscribe <laughs> to this podcast. I was telling Alex that I did... Like when you go on Apple Podcasts to see how many ratings you have, it, uh-huh. it shows like that you haven't rated it. So I just kept hitting five stars Me over and over Me and too. over. Nice. <laughs> and nice. like every four would be like rating added and then otherwise it just wouldn't say anything. Right. So I think 30 of the reviews are me. That's okay. <laughs> okay. You support us, Alina. Thank you. Yeah. I know. I do what I can. I do what I can. Game um, the system. I had the... Mm, okay, here we go. This is by... Do I read who, who it was? Yeah. Okay. Not? Uh, you know who this is. I do. It's definitely not Shannon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Um, this is by far my favorite rodent and pet care podcast. Host Sarah and Alina, both PhD recipients of Rodentia, discuss the many tips, stories, and basics of caring for animals, such as hamsters, rats, and gerbils. <laughs> It wasn't until I checked out this podcast that I discovered hamsters are, in fact, gerbils. (laughs) Alina and Sarah are engaging and personable hosts as they include their childhood memories of taking care of hamsters, gerbils, and rats, while also including insightful lessons they have learned as pet owners. Yeah. If you are interested in all things rodents and how to care for them, I highly recommend Are We Still Friends? Wow. Honestly, it should be how to not care for them. No. I know. No. No, We're killing our animals every day. No, that's the point. You guys should be, like, licensed. You should be framed in, you know vet facilities Guinness world yeah. records you know. of most yeah like when, animals harm yeah when people go like to take their you know animals in for care there should just be a laminated placard of you guys in white coats that's like the ultimate pet care podcast yeah yeah uh, subscribe now i wish there was a term for gerbils and fish what do you mean a what? term for gerbils and fish like that's their name them together like a latin like a a pet <laughs> about like first pets pet yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you mean that like like scientific, like mammals, or do you just mean like a slang term? I meant like a scientific one, but thanks for reminding me that mammals. Was <laughs> Wait, fish aren't mammals. No, no, of course no, not. That's what I. That's why I was asking. <laughs> They're not a, not the same animal. Do you, Do you want this so you can just have a like a catch all? Yeah. And you talk about the yes. types of animals you guys like, really I know how to the care fish, for. She killed many gerbils one gerbil there was a rat (laughs) there was a rat but again did we confirm he was a gerbil because after the show we keep not googling like what a gerbil is the rat doesn't count i yeah no (laughs) the rat i still try to forget if i'm being honest it was a traumatizing animal experience um so let's not include rusty in this speedy good gerbil rusty bad rat yeah (laughs) Um, nice (laughs) I did say that I would read some hamster stories, but I haven't gotten enough yet. Do you have a good, I, did you have a good single one? Mm. There was one, I don't remember like the exact warning, but basically this gerbil owner <laughs> fried her hamsters accidentally. Oh yeah. <laughs> she that. was trying to warm them up and then they were killed by fire. Wait, is that a thing? Warming up your gerbils? 
Alex, do you, you have to find Do you them only do that before putting them in your ass? <gasps> you know. Why, yeah, why would you heat up gerbil? I don't know. I don't know. I can't get like the whole gist of the story in my head, but I did read that there was more than one gerbil too in my mind. It was like a, a clan of gerbils. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Sarah. <laughs> It, the gerbils were all colors. Okay. All colors. Okay. All right, all right. And this is a gaming clan. All gerbils die. <laughs> um, okay, I have one, but then they're, they're, the one that you're talking about was on YouTube, and I'll find it oh, in a second. It okay. Unless someone else had their phone nearby, they could quickly look it up. Mm-mm, oh, me. Okay. I slept over at my grandma's house one night. She made me put the hamster cage outside because she didn't want it inside the house. We put a little blanket over the cage so the hamster wouldn't get cold, and the next morning it had an army of ants all over it. Not Whoa. sure if it died of suffocation first or what, but rest in peace, Eleanor. What? Eleanor. That's really sad. So yeah. wait, my question is, did the ants kill it to death or did it die and then they, I think it they died went to first. harvest? It died first because... Ants wouldn't attack a live thing. They could if ants are mean enough. But I think, you know, how people say, like, <laughs> don't, ants. don't swaddle yeah. the baby. Yeah. Like, don't swaddle your gerbil. Yeah. Let it breathe. I mean, what a... I mean, do you think Let the grandma... Breathe. Do you think the grandma knew what she was doing? She's like, it's, it's probably not going to make it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put it outside because that's where it's going to die. Can yeah. I get the reason again why the gerbil was outside in the first place? Uh, they d- the grandma just didn't want it inside. Smelly. Mm. I get Think? that. As a grandma, your house already probably smells weird as it is. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to preserve the grandma yes. smell. God forbid a hamster gets in there and Make normalize it, it a little bit. Oh, yeah, or makes it worse. Either one. Uh, here's the here's one. I found it. Uh-oh. What's up? You found it? Do you want to read it? Okay. Um. My mom's younger brother had five hamsters. One Clan of gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> there was five. Can, can it be a grouping? I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's another yeah. word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just heavy on this clan theme. Friend gerbils. <laughs> a gang of gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My mom's brother had five hamsters. Cletus, when Dale. When they were teenagers. <laughs> Jedediah. No, that's Amish. Should I just restart the sentence over every yeah. time? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I just didn't know if I needed to read the entire thing or if I pick up where I left off. <laughs> Whatever feels Start good to you. Beginning. Okay. Um, he asked her to look after them while he and his friends went on a trip over the winter. One day, my mom thought they looked cold, so she lined them up on a skateboard in front of the heater and started cooking dinner. About an hour later, she smelled something burning. Let's just say it wasn't the food. Whoa. Yeah. But also, were the gerbils strapped Whoa. to the skateboard? Like, couldn't they run for their lives? Yeah. Like, if I was starting to get hot and I was a <laughs> gerbil, I'd remove myself from the situation. Yeah, I'm just thinking so many things. First of all, shout out to that mom. Team kill. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Secondly, what did she strap them down with? I know. I mean, this shoelace is, th- would make sense. You can't... Shoelace? No. I think they could squeeze out of that, no? Aren't they strong enough? Tape. What if we don't... Tape? Just tape, <laughs> taped, violent, taped man. the gang of gerbils <laughs> to the board. That's the only way you can get them all strapped together. That's what I don't get. Yeah. Which did you, go ahead. What were you going to say? I was going to say that maybe we are unaware of gerbil psychology. Clearly. Okay. <laughs> Explain. And maybe gerbils are more loyal than dogs, like AKA. I will burn on this skateboard for mm. you because you told me to be here. Got it. <laughs> or maybe they were really cold. They started to warm up. <laughs> it felt nice. Yeah. And they went from, this feels like a nice warm jacuzzi to, yeah. I'm on fire. Yeah. Like they're just so <laughs> dumb. They don't know yeah, it's that like they a, can walk away. It's like boiling a frog or whatever. <gasps> what? Do yeah. people do that? No, isn't it that like frogs can't tell the temperature? So if you boil them, they'll just like sit there. And like you, they'll eventually die. So they have a superpower, uh, not this, feeling shit. Yes, yeah, yeah. They're depressed. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's their superpower. Isn't there a superpower like in Marvel where you don't feel heat? Okay, there's no frog no. superhero. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get two things down. One that would be well, a great superhero. A frog superhero. No. Walk through fire. An, okay, an, that's, that's not a frog. frog. A frog cannot walk, <laughs> walk through fire. Walk. Yeah, it could. If it was Just can't get boiled. Frog. But no, it's just that they can't detect slight changes in temperature. Yeah, so they can walk through fire. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Frogman. Heat uh, seeker. Heat seeker. I think Alex is. <laughs> I just have an interruption. Uh, the scientific term for a group of gerbils is in fact a clan. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, my God. Wow. Sometimes also a horde, but m- many of the answers are clan. I don't wow. know what to say. I'm honestly, wow. I could tear up right now. You really did get a PhD in <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. yeah, you are. Oh, like, I'm so smart. Yeah, you Thanks are. Thanks for Googling. That. I know, Alex. God, okay. I'm still so good about myself. Yeah. Continue. You're going to have to rename Alex anymore. to assistant researcher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, I just can't believe that. I'm stuck on that clan of gerbils. Yeah. Clan of gerbils. What we'll die together. Clan? How many? Five or more. <laughs> Such a I have to do more research. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we talk about why that person also had five gerbils? Like, you only need one. Why would you have five Aren't they hamsters? cheap? Aren't they like, are they like three bucks? Three I, I think it's more than three dollars. Because like five? goldfish, lowest, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Five dollars. Free. No, goldfish. Well, goldfish is like 99 cents. Yeah. I, I don't even think right you... Now. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, sure, yeah. Get five. It'll be a clan. Yeah. Um hamsters have to be i'm gonna say 25 30 bucks depending on the hamster i think there's also uh, miniature hamsters have you heard of this mm-hmm. there's regular hamster and then there's miniature even oh, cuter wow. miniature a speedy was normal sized speedy was normal sized unclear because <laughs> because he was not so quickly <laughs> so interesting did you have any pets uh we had fish we killed them all that was mm. it did you get a chance to name them um no did you bury them or did you flush them flush them Okay, did your parents tell you how to do that? Um, my mom just kind of laughed and said, let's flush it. And then we just walked to the toilet and we flushed it. And then we laughed about it. My mom's been listening. And I was like, hey, do you remember the fish story? Like, And she goes, you know, I didn't remember that story. But I do remember, she didn't remember me killing it and getting it. But like until I mentioned it. In that order? Yeah. <laughs> you killed it in the store <laughs> and then you took it home. <laughs> I'll take the one. I knew it was yeah. dead when I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> But she said that she does remember being amazed that I thought to bury it <laughs> like when she found out post-burial. Wow. I guess in general, like if you're a kid, all you know to do with something once it's dead is bury it. Yeah. So I get your thought process, but I still believe you shouldn't have been alone for that death. I did a lot of stuff alone. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Can we just double back to Frogman? <laughs> I think it'd be, like, Alex, can you verify the the frog boiling thing? Yeah, so that's a fable, apparently. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's because fro- the story begins yeah, kind of like Jesus, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're both a story. Yeah, got it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it just says so claims the myth. The frog won't notice and will slowly cook, cook to death, but so claims the myth. And then it's like a whole article that I gotta read. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah stop I top. for sure yeah. know Headlines someone's gonna tell us if it's happened or not because someone as a kid maybe did that. Yeah, no there's one psycho- way. There's, no, there's one psychopath who listens to this podcast that's like, I tried boiling my frog. <laughs> and it died. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it's gonna die anyway. It's just like, how do they know it felt it or not? Yeah. Did the frog it, scream? If it just sat, this is dark. The, no, they scream. <gasps> I actually recorded Ugh. the nastiest frog scream. Oh, wait, why? Where were you that frogs were screaming? Um, it was just the internet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah 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 it, i was actually thinking of you today sarah and i thought of a really great not re- i'm not gonna say really great that's a bold thing to say <laughs> because of the second half of my sentence which is a really great tiktok but it did give me a tiktok idea but i'm gonna play this frog screen no, oh no no, no, no. i'll oh. just send alex this file but we can use wait my sarah doesn't know this wait what, what i hate frogs wait why they're my least favorite animal. Have you seen spiders or snakes? Yeah, I don't get. I don't care about those. So you'd rather have a the way spider, they're slimy a and wet, and then the, the way they're <clears throat> comes out and goes back Not, in and I make weird sounds. Toads. And then toad and frog is the same thing. And then, and then the the webbed feet and the like it just like sticks to everything. And then ooh, the way they hop, I just. All right. Well, th- why don't we get into this then? Because. Uh, <gasps> Well, now you're going to see one suffer, so get excited. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, this is crazy. Okay. All right, ready? Three, yeah. two. Oh! <laughs> Why does it look like that? Why is it eyeball so tiny? Oh, help the frog. <laughs> A 
warning to headphone users. <laughs> yeah, 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 after. Oh, my. That was disgusting. <laughs> I am, like, uh, why? Uh, was there, okay. <laughs> Um, was that frog a pet frog or should that be in the wild? I've never it's heard of Tupperware, so we know just it's like you <laughs> But I mean, this is my question: like, did that person buy that frog from a pet store? Like, got it home, was like, what the fuck did I buy? Or did that person capture it from a lake, bring oh, it back to their house? Saying, that does not home. look store yeah. bought. That looks like it came <laughs> An from alien. Amazon. I know. Yeah, it looks made like they like infused is it, it with something. Mad? It yeah. might be, yeah. I mean, that's not a happy frog. <laughs> that wasn't a happy sound. <laughs> no, he's having a good he's time. Singing. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. That can't be that. No, he's having a good time. Oh, my God. That frog was so pissed. <laughs> Alex, why do frogs scream? This is turning out to be a great research podcast. Just the animal. We're living up to the, wait, wait, wait. the review here. So, to startle or scare predators. <gasps> see, oh, I knew so it was a pissed like off frog. In yeah. Danger. Because he was put in Tupperware. I also have the answer to if they, what would happen if they boil. So you can't, if you drop them into already boiling water, the proteins in their legs would melt and they wouldn't be able to jump. Oh. But if you left them in water, like the story goes, if you leave them in water and heat it up, they would eventually jump out. It just depends on if they have the ability to get out of the pot. They would recognize that the water level is getting too hot mm. just, just for a temperature that they don't enjoy. So they would Got jump it. out. Got it. So frog superheroes out. Yeah. 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 Frog man, I don't think exists. <laughs> frog Imagine man, the frog man screaming. Heat seeker. Though. Heat seeker. Yeah. So he wants heat. Yeah, because he's invincible from it. Got it. Before 10 minutes ago. Okay, no, this could work. Okay, the frog. So, and he also, he stands. He doesn't sit. He's a, he's a tall, long legged man. His little feet that go like this are like so this. So he's, uh, he's the Warner Brothers yes, caricature. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So his only superpower is fine with heat. Can remove myself if it feels hot. <laughs> That's also, I want to say when he walks, his hips sway a lot. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. So it's a sexy frog. <laughs> it, is. it is. He's a heat seeker. You would hate this super. You would rather die probably than Elena, be saved by the frog. Watching hentai or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like such a. Do you even know what that is? No. <laughs> See, this, and this is a great, this is a great segue because I, I was, when I was thinking of you earlier, I wanted to ask, have you seen Two Girls, One Cup? Unfortunately, yeah. Still haunts my nightmares, still haunts okay. my, yeah. Have you seen Mr. Hands? No. Have you seen One Guy, One Jar? I don't know. What? Is this pooping related to? Have you seen Kids in a Sandbox? No. No. Have you seen BME Pain Olympics? No. But I watched my first Jackass. Is this about people getting hurt? It's definitely about people getting hurt. I cannot watch people getting hurt. Like, it's so physically uncomfortable for me. Like, when that guy was having his balls pogo sticked on, I, I can't. Every single day I think about his balls and <laughs> the fact that they were pogoed. Like, is he okay? Is he okay? I don't know. Like, are, did, are his balls insured? Did he take out his space? Like, what is up with this guy and his balls now? Did you see? Did you watch I can't it? believe you have trauma that. from jackass. <laughs> and I was told that that was like the latest jackass was like the least people were injured. The least amount of people were injured on the last jackass. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> were his balls taken into account? Like, do people hurt their balls every jackass? Is that a common theme? Oh, yeah. 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 The, okay. the first, in terms of... the earlier ones. I, 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 in terms of sacrifice, like, the nuts are the first thing that gets sacrificed. But that hurts the most. Is that why they do it? Well, yeah. Yeah, they do crazy stuff. They're, uh, They're not just going to go like this and call it a movie. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. There's I, one where <laughs> they get the heads of their penises bit by snakes. Yeah. In the hole? Not in the hole, but it's like they put their dick in a snake cage with like a little hat on it and stuff. It's really weird. That just seems like they're I saw it. more dicks in the Jackass movie than I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. So you've never watched Euphoria? <laughs> I, I, yes. That one scene. But those are artful dicks. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there's a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a difference between dick. art yeah, dick true. and Jackass Yeah, because yeah, actually that's a great point. I'd venture to say you probably see more penises like in a museum than... 
God, what's what's my last museum? Like well, honestly, you can't remember. But no, but as statues, a, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been to Rome. I have been to Rome. Yeah, you've seen. Yeah, I've seen a lot of dicks there. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. A porn, In and a, outside a, of a it. porn, a clan of dicks, if you will. <laughs> 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 is, that oh my a, God. is that just a dick on your phone oh my God. oh it's mr hands oh you have it <laughs> oh Alex lord just, I just pulled it up. wait you just pulled is it, it up. saved on your phone no, I just looked it up. It's oh fun. lord is it gonna be worse than the frog though no, no. okay no visually it's just uncomfortable yeah. mm-hmm. i don't know i don't know if we want to do this oh that's that bad it's really bad. It's pretty, oh. it's pretty rough. Yeah. It's, oh, it's not good. I think you what's won't doing? be able to continue the rest. Of oh, the okay. If you see it, maybe at the end. What's the gist? <laughs> <laughs> the gist is a guy oh, gets. Don't, you don't you want to show her? You don't want to. Uh, man, guys. man, look what Coachella does to. I know. Kid. I know. Comes One back festival. just causing chaos. No, you want her to see it. <laughs> you don't want to spoil it. Alex did in fact go to Coachella. I know. Like last week, he we all said he hadn't been, but now he's gone. I did go. Yeah. Was that your first festival? No. Okay. Damn. Was it the first time you've been outside the house? <laughs> no. <laughs> she thinks you're 12. <laughs> was that your first festival? <laughs> Aw. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it seemed like you guys were partying. Peter Keen brought out Kendrick Lamar. I yeah. Yeah. He you, scre- you scream like the frog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do it again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Mr. Hands is bad. Um, that could be a segment later, but I was more... I was more thinking about Alina is also very innocent, but recently we've uh, corrupted. We've corrupted her yeah. a little bit by way of like being around you for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But so you just see scary videos, or you see more scary. like ball wiener pics? No, it's just it just shows me. <laughs> well, well, well. Have you seen this? Wiener? Well, Alina is um, she's a very visual person, you know. Uh, like like if I if if I talk about something in the abstract, yeah, Alina will sort of struggle to. She'll kind of be like, oh, okay, like I see what you're saying, you know. So like we were talking about um, uh, how burgers are made, okay, and we were kind of talking about it in the abstract. And Alina's like, that sounds pretty bad, like in the sense of like what? a cow is killed. Yes, yeah. So okay, so we had to realize it for her just a little bit. So, so you watched a cow die. Yeah, I didn't know <clears throat> that. That's what happened. Yeah. Stop. Wait. <laughs> yeah. What you're saying to me is you did not think a cow died for your burger. <laughs> well, no, she thought like... The, I knew it died, but... She, she thought, thought it died, it died out in the pasture. Or like it was like a cute death. Or maybe or like it was dying anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. No. And then Have you never seen all those food documentaries on Netflix? I choose to... Just yeah, scroll t- through. Just yeah. tune it out. Yeah. So you saw the slaughtering of the cow. That was the saddest thing. I didn't eat a burger for twenty four hours. I didn't eat. I didn't eat beef <laughs> for two weeks. Yeah, that is two true. weeks. You were pretty traumatized. Uh, I just have couldn't. you seen the chickens ones too? Yeah, oh, sure the pig yeah. ones. Oh, it's so well. Pigs yeah. are smarter than dogs. Yeah. So we did. We did the whole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whole they told me all that, but I didn't see how the pigs died, so I continued to eat bacon. <laughs> Because I cut it off. I was like, I don't want to watch the video. But I have like an cow? insane pig like slaughter story that I'll tell you later in this episode. Okay. But, but just bring it back to this. Is this how you became no, say a vegetarian? No. no, 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 no. So I, long story short, I've never had meat. My parents were vegetarian. So I grew up never having meat. Um, and I was in Thailand for like a, a very extensive period of time. And I was working for this like volunteer program. And part of that program, you have to like go to these like, uh, hill tribes like for a stay and we were going up to like northernmost of Thailand and we were going to be rebuilding houses because they just got knocked over long story short there was a huge storm there so all the houses that we were actually staying in then in turn got knocked over so there was no houses and then the trees got knocked over so we wow. couldn't get back to where we were going kind how, of down how old were you um 22 maybe wow. 23 um Does that explain your tattoo that you have no it doesn't i got that at 18 (laughs) um so we couldn't get back to where we were staying up in northern thailand so we had to stay there for like a week and a half and stay where in what in on the ground in the jungle of thailand like on a mountaintop and you know me with my eating habits already like as a vegetarian i only eat you know burritos Mm -hmm. so i packed um on this trip to the hill tribes like 10 power bars and I was like, I'm going to have to just 
parcel this out. And I became so hungry after a while. I, I started like eating rice with sugar, just like mixed together. But the pig story is we're out of food and they need to slaughter the pig to eat. So they took this pig from the pig pen and they slit its throat and it was like bleeding out all over the town and we had to like take all the organs out and the you other did? pig friends, the pig friends was the saddest part because they were like crying for four days after the pig died. Ugh. And I was like, well, I guess I'm never going to try pig. I've had bacon since. <laughs> it, is, it is good. I... So I understand what you're saying. That's how good bacon is. Dude. <laughs> That's how good it is. But oh my God, it was so shocking because the uh, they say pigs are super smart and the pigs were so smart. They like knew what was happening the whole time and I just felt so bad. But um, yeah, I, I, I understand like seeing something and being sad that an animal dies, but then still eating the meat anyways. Yeah. You yeah. know, a burger looks good. I I'm going to try like, one. I think you should. I'm going to try what an in What meats have you had? I've tried bacon. I've tried veal. Oh, I tried veal. Um, the worst one. Wow. <laughs> Over the weekend, I had like a little nibble of like maybe, I think it was like pork, but mm, I didn't like it. But I was told maybe it wasn't just, it wasn't good pork. So I was like, okay, I'll try again. Yeah. Um, pepperoni. Pepperoni, but that was a horrible, accident. Ex- horrible experience. But I'm going to do an in and out burger or like a burger that's smashed yeah, smash. with cheese. Um, you don't want the thick, no. the thick boy. No. Like steak <laughs> terrifies me, but I want to try it because yeah, you don't want that thick meat. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm looking for thin Smashed. meat. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> so so after they killed the pig, were you just like mortified and you continued eating power bars? I was I was mortified, and I think most people there were also mortified. But then you're also like, this is how people eat like yeah like mm-hmm. they had the pigs they raised the pigs like they killed it in like the most humane way probably more humane than the stuff that you were watching Definitely. so it was like the whole process was like typical and normal for this place that i was at of but of, like for me i was like i've never seen an animal die in front of me yeah um and i was so tired at this point because i was surviving off a power bar a day i was like breakfast lunch dinner nibble of a power bar did you understand like this is so American. What? I know. Just this whole conversation. Well. To be like, some people have to kill their food. Isn't that crazy? It's gross. <laughs> Ew, I would never. <laughs> I ate my power bars instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm eating these weird processed gobs of protein looking at <laughs> people. People were begging food. me for my power bars. And yeah. I was like, mm, yeah. back up. I brought these in my backpack. <laughs> That's what all the people of Northern Thailand were saying. Like, oh my God, let me have that cliff bar. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> what oh, is this wrapping? I'm what, like, was that, oh. yeah, what was that flavored glue you're eating, dude? I want that. <laughs> I know. It was probably like the most unhealthy thing there. Like they were probably eating like really healthy meat with like great vegetables. And I was like, mm, processed foods. Yeah, debatably. Yeah. Either way though. So Speaking of you eating rice... Oh. In the jungle, I have a question for both of you. Oh, would you want to go on Survivor? Oh, and how long would you last? Okay, how long do you realistically? I was think thinking about last? this last night when we were watching it. Um, realistically, we're, we're all caught up. I think. Do you watch Survivor? I watch Survivor because Alina told me to. That's awesome. And she thought it I'm was a show her. for geriatrics only. Well, it's like number one. It's season forty-two. Is this the longest-running show that's ever existed one in the of history them, of yeah, time? I think so. Um, so obviously yeah, I just hadn't watched it. Um, but <sighs> I'm obsessed. Yeah. I can't look away. No, it, it's, it's fun. It is kind of just like a bunch of people doing a group project, but they're hungry. <laughs> but I think that's what makes it super engaging. Yeah. And yeah. there's always one person that's like not participating. Yeah. And then there's one person who takes control of the project yeah. and then everyone eats that person. And yeah. I have a couple questions before we get into the questions. I wrote them down because I did not want to forget. This is great. <laughs> what is an amulet? Wait, wait. Answer my question first. Would you go on and how long would you last? I would 100% go on Survivor. And if anyone's watching this, cast me. Are these um, questions related to the show? Yes. These okay, are all related to the been writing show. them down as short. But how long do you think you would last? I would make it to the end. I would survive. I think, I think actually I mean, Sarah she, has a good shot at surviving. Yeah, she ate. 
She basically did survive. Rice and sugar in yeah. Thailand. Yeah. What about you, Noel? I think. It, okay, it like, I think on the physical aspect, I think I could last. Um, on the social game, that part, I think I would have no. Like, if you're hungry, you're not going to be able to socialize with people. And plot. no, even if I was eating enough, I don't know if I could care enough. Mm. To like want to play the game. But I feel like that would make you a good player because what I'm noticing in Survivor <clears throat> is that if you start caring too much, you become the people that yeah. are preyed upon. Like if, if you're like plotting too point. much. That's a great point. Yeah. If yeah. you kind of just sit on the edge and you're like, yeah, whatever happens, happens, then yeah. you don't look like you're desperate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because that's what's been happening in the last episode. And I was yeah. like, keep it cool. Yeah. Or yeah. else yeah. you're cut. Yeah. Some people I watch play, and that's actually a great point. Like some people they just talk to talk it's just like shut the fuck up you'll be or they're fine talking but they're plotting versus like mike in the latest season he yeah. just like actually is getting to know everyone yeah which is like really nice because he, at least he'll walk away from that experience like having friends having friends whereas everyone else is just like oh so so and so did this yeah um, just in case you guys were wondering, I would also go on Survivor. Yes, yes, <laughs> no way. Well, no, no, no. Last. Yeah. And I would be a, the winner. I would oh win. Oh my God. I would win. Yeah, right. Alina, so scared of like what other people think. She'd be like, are you guys, are we friends? Are we yeah. the right girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Alina yeah. wouldn't even make the merge. Yeah. Yeah. I would be the paranoid yeah. one. Yeah. You'd be out. So I'd be rethinking everything I said <laughs> yeah. to so-and-so. No, I would make it. Uh, the bugs whatever pooping in the ocean wait i whatever. have still not seen anyone poop in the ocean <laughs> hold on you'll we'll see, you'll see it uh, okay we can't what? wait alex is you can't even poop in a public toilet how are you gonna poop in the ocean i know mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you didn't think about that part i will say that the 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 underwear attire is probably the thing i'd have the most trouble with i think you get to a point where you just don't care uh, that's what yeah, happens you're starving you're you just like, don't you care don't give a fuck Okay, let me ask my question so I can understand what's happening. What is an amulet? Amulet? Yeah. Do you mean like a like an idol? I also have what is an idol. <laughs> okay. So season four. Oh, this is hilarious. How many episodes are you in? Uh, oh, we ate. Eight. Yeah. eight? You've gone eight episodes and you don't know what the idol is. <laughs> I know an idol is something that people want. Is that the piece of paper? Have you been watching? Yes, yeah. but all idols and some, they say amulets. And then girl Dre is like, I have a bracelet. I oh, okay, okay, okay. To paper. be fair, to be fair, this season is crazy yeah. with okay. like all the different things they've so added. So season 41 and 42, they've added this, I, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen every season, but I've seen like 10. Okay. They've added this thing called an amulet. And it's like, is the amulet the thing where you have to have three people? No, that's the that's an idol. Okay. Okay, so that's like a different type of idol. So that's freeway, Alex. That's, yeah, it's Google amulet. Uh, yeah, it's the survivor amulet. See what it does. They have like they have advantages. Okay, is that also an idol? No, no. So advantages, like for example, spoiler alert: Adrea got one in the last episode, which was called the more you know advantage. So she can exercise that advantage. It's it's pretty much like if you think about it, like a video game. They have like it's like a little bonus. Yeah, like little tools and stuff mm -hmm. that they can use. So at, at for starters, an idol um, uh, protects you for one tribal council. An idol protects you for okay. So you can't so you, be voted. You go so. in and the, everyone casts. Their, or is it before? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So everyone they'll vote, and then before Jeff goes to read it, he goes, "If anyone has an idol, you can play it now." Right. And all the votes cast against you don't count. But that's different than just when they say like, "Oh, I want to." pull my name out of the paper that's a new thing that they okay. do. it's basically like you lose your vote but you have a one in six chance of, of getting an idol okay yeah okay things and are coming so, together yeah, yeah. so yeah. i think like you have to like you have to do count the numbers up there because you could easily doing that and then not getting it and you lose your vote like you could be sending yourself if home. you do that can you do that every single time no Okay. I think you can only You'll do, do it, it once. Yeah. So you I, play it I believe once. that's an advantage. So you have to get that advantage to do that. No, I think everyone has that. My, do they? Yeah, you're shot in the dark. Oh, that's think, right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shot in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally, my next question was, what's up with advantages or idols? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the jury? What is that? So at a certain point, um, uh, I know the show better because I'm a man. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, at a certain point, after people get voted off, uh, the remaining players get uh, put onto the jury, and the jury actually decides between the final three who gets the million. And they rate you based so, on how you played the game. They do the merge, and then right. the first person voted out. Chanel. Yeah, is now part of the jury. And does she still need to starve? No, no. she lives like in a resort for the next month. Oh my God, I would be perfect <laughs> for the jury. <laughs> so you wouldn't want to win. So you just go on to like boost your social media a little bit, mm-hmm. promote the podcast. Exactly. And then get on the jury. It's yes. so funny because Will is always like, would you rather make it to the final three or would you rather be jury ma- make it to the jury? And he's like, because I would love to just like live on that island. Yeah. And like resort and have fun and like they all eat. Sounds wonderful. I would rather make it to the final three. Yeah. I but think- you wouldn't even make the merge, Alina. So we'll back up, backtrap, yeah. you would not be even yeah. on the jury. Yeah. All right. What other questions? <laughs> One other have? question I have is, has Survivor ever done couples? I would like to know, like, have people that are in a couple or married had to, like, go against each other or backstab their people, significant y- other? Yeah. I want to say yes. Yeah. There is, a, there is a season. Like, they met, I think, through Survivor. Oh, no. Mm. I don't want that. I- I want and then life. they're on the season together, like later. There are like, there are a handful of like couples that can't like Came happen together. on Survivor. Oh, and then they do a season later with them, and they're both on it, and they're kind of like they work together because they're like either one of us could. Okay, but you they should. haven't done a full season of all couples. No, mm. they, but they have interesting breakdowns. They had one that got really controversial. They had like a race wars one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really bad. Clan one. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. They had a clan one. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Like the three tribes in the beginning. Um, yeah. Or I think, I think really it's early on up. Survivor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah this is definitely a mid two thousands idea. <laughs> that seems crazy. Yeah. <laughs> early two thousands. And then there was a Millennials Gen X. You should watch Millennials and Gen X. That is so funny. That's one of my that favorite seasons. Funny. The Millennials just they get to that island and half of them go straight to trying to fuck each other. Stop. People mm-hmm. are having sex on Survivor. Not sex, but like no. they're definitely no. you know sex stuff. flirting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, watching millennials flirt is so painful. <laughs> I always think about that though, like when I'm I'm watching like Bravo or something. Yeah. But then I know if I was flirting on television, oh, it would be so hard to watch. Yeah. I would have to turn away too. Yeah. <laughs> I won't now. I've I've made it over that hump. Yeah. So what do you think about Survivor? I'm I love it so much. And my other question too was which Alina kind of asked is like, what role do you think you would play? Like, do you think you would be the person that's like trying to organize the vote or like be kind of the driver, the person that's like king of the group? Or would you be like a side a side hoe to the driver? Or would you side, be kicked off? I'd be a side hoe. Okay. I wouldn't be kicked off. I Actually, I think Alina would have a potential to make it to the end mm. because she would be an easy number. She'd be an easy to recruit. <laughs> You'd be just so paranoid. Like, you'd go with whatever. Like, the first person would be like, I got you. You'd be like, okay, 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 yeah. Us, 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 us. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I would be tempted to try to be a driver just because I'm yeah. a control freak. Yeah. But um, I'm not a control freak, but I am. I do get anal. You are a man. Yeah, I'm a man. So, so I'm like automatically better than half the cast. So, uh, and I love. I'm interested too. Like Jonathan, like the guy that's three men in one. Yeah, are people always okay, trying relax. to? <laughs> you, you have a boyfriend. You'll stuff like He's Jonathan. three men in one. Yeah, but like, he's going to rethink his proposal if uh, he hears this episode. Fuck. <laughs> um, do people try to get people that are athletic off? Yes. So you kind of want to keep like if you're really good at something, you don't want to show people. Mm -hmm. Almost, yeah. The athletic people really struggle. They always get canned. Like, they never make it to the end because they're a threat. Yeah, the group things, it's good you keep them because then they could help you win. But then as soon as the merge happens, then it's all the individual challenges. Oh. So when the merge happens, you play by yourself. But Tori has won the last two. I know. And everyone's been trying to get her off. You almost don't want to win the idols or the, uh, the immunities because it's an interesting thing. I think actually Jonathan is unironically doing the right thing by getting it almost there and then fucking up. I wonder if he's doing that on purpose because he's kind of safe with the votes. So what if he's giving it to someone else so that he's not having Yeah, I wonder if he's just not really trying. So they can't be like, oh, he wins every single yeah. well, immunity like challenge. Well, the two immunity challenges like didn't necessarily have anything to do with brute strength. Like no. one of them yeah. was the balancing one. Which I feel like it's hard to do if you're three men in I, one. I, I also, yeah, no, it is. It is. He's too much strength. No, it's way, it's a so much, much way more yeah. weight to balance. But I also think the way he was balancing it didn't make sense. Like going like that. 
Yeah. I, I the way Tori had it made more it sense like to me because you can use your back. Up. Yeah. You yeah. Use more of your body. But again, he's he's a massive dude. Yeah. He says he eats four to five thousand <sighs> calories a day. Yeah, he's a bodybuilder for sure. Isn't that insane? It just sounds like uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, his asshole must be just. Uh, yeah. He's probably dropping deuces every uh, two hours. In the ocean? Oh. He's not eating enough, though. Yeah. Oh, you're right. So no poop for him. Yeah. Every, yeah. I, actually, I bet you he's probably. This is disgusting. I would even say this. He probably has the cleanest ass on the show. Because well, he's not pooping? everything is coming no, out. No, because no, nothing's coming out. Like he's like like um the only time I can equate this to Oh, he's absorbing everything. Yeah, like like he doesn't have any excess calories. The to- period of life where I was really down bad on money, like everything I ate, I never shat because <laughs> anytime I got to eat, no it was fiber. my body just took it. it needed like it. literally everything. Yeah. Yeah. This so is, uh, for him, yeah, he probably has the cleanest ass because he and everything's just whoop. Yeah. Everything. Um I would like to revisit what we were talking about earlier about how I wouldn't make it because I can't poop in public. I would love to, to poop, poop in public in water. Like that seems what? amazing. Are you kidding Your me? Your butt is instantly cleaned. No. 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 It's not a, I almost just called it a duvet. <laughs> it's not a duvet, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> What's it called where the water squirts your butt? Um, a bidet. A bidet. A bidet. Okay. Duvet, bidet. I want to dunk my Same ass thumbs. in water. <laughs> yeah, okay. Keep going. And take poos. We there. can do this without Survivor. We can test this out tomorrow. We can get to the beach. You can do it at the time where I know you poo every day. Just make sure the ocean's your toilet. It just seems like it, it'll be quick, easy. You say that until your turd is just like... <laughs> Floating, riding, next like floating to you. up your back, and you're trying to swim <laughs> away, and it's just bobbing in the water. But you got water as lubrication; it's preventing, it's creating a layer. Why do you no. need lubrication in your butt to poo? If, the lubrication is let's, great. Let's say in you your shit. Butt. Let's just say you shit as the tide is coming in. Mm-hmm. That oh, turd is going to go no. right under, like between your legs. It'll probably come out the front. <gasps> like yeah, but it will just get. <laughs> look at Alex's face. <laughs> well, now I'm just thinking the science of it. You probably want to shit towards the sand, right? Yeah, scientifically. Because the water would. Yeah, let me ask the scientists. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I have two. I have two scientists here, but I asked the other man because I'm <laughs> totally. Well, in Fiji, it doesn't seem like there's really that many waves, so I don't That's think the wave would point. be an issue there. You can yeah. just turn anywhere. I thought there was tons of waves. It doesn't really seem like it. No, it's not like it's not like they're out there surfing, and that's actually probably why they can go out there and spearfish and stuff because it's clear mm. and stable. Is Survivor always in Fiji? No. Yeah, no. Okay, well, I would want to actually know my location of s- surviving before I accepted my role. In yeah. pooping in the water? No, like, no, where are we going? They have some seasons where it's, like, you know, tough environments, yeah. but they're, like, near a river. Uh, I don't, I'm not with that. I want to be by the beach. Yeah, I want to yeah. have an ocean toilet. I would like that because, yeah, I want to go. I want to do that. And it's super pretty. Like, at least I can be distracted by Fiji. Yeah. Mm. Snorkeling. You would hate it. I would hate it, but I still think I would win because I'm annoyingly competitive yeah and now that i know i can smash rice together with sugar and be like the most energetic person on earth yeah i'd do it sarah needs to go on survivor then i know you know what i was would it be fun to do a friends hosted survivor no there's no million dollars no we all like hmm. we all put money into a pot whoever can last the longest at coachella <laughs> dollars first <laughs> No, I wonder, you know, I could just hit up a brand and be like, we're going to self-produce our own Survivor. But it's got to be called something else because of copyright. Um, Stranded. Yeah. <laughs> or Ocean Poops. No, come, <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> I would request that we do do it by an ocean, though, instead of... Oh, yeah. Yeah. It'd be Fiji. Oh, oh whoa. Well, hold on. What whoa. Kind of budget are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be like... Santa Monica Pier? Yes. Yeah, why not? There's survivor-like conditions down there. Oh. Santa Monica Pier, Venice, the water down there, it I don't is, know if I'd go in. Yeah, you can't You can't fish in that water, that's no, for sure. No, you can't poo in that water either. No, you, you definitely can. can shit. That's no, exactly then where people all are the, the bacteria goes up inside your butt. I think You're you not, get that bacteria the moment you get in there. Mm. Your butt is not a suction cup. Yeah. It's not it is. sucking it's not things in. Something is going... Oh, my God. <sighs> it's gonna... It's, 
I always see you just gonna Venus like, flytrap that back in. You have a magical butt. You have you're you're a little Marvel superhero already. You don't even need to be Frogman. You have butt sucker, and you can just walk around <laughs> and suck stuff up with your butt, and it's like magical. <laughs> That's how Lena would get around on Survivor. She just sit on a coconut and just fucking <laughs> boop, just absorb all the nutrients from the coconut. She doesn't even need to eat. Yeah, the water. You just damn. Oh my god. How do they have periods. I actually survivor. thought about that too when Dre was like putting stuff in her pants, like yeah. her idols and stuff. I'm, her pants must be fucking huge at this point. She has she idols, biker yeah. yeah. shorts. I know, but you know she was putting it in the in the bottom crotch style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know. I I feel like that part they kind of have to break the fourth wall, like women's like yeah women care. Yeah, you can't you can't survive her that. Well, no. when she when her arm is all bloody, she should just been like my, my period. period. I know. I was thinking the same thing. I was like blame blame your dot. Blame Damn. Your, yeah. Does it? It doesn't like gush like that. It though. does. <laughs> what do I know? Yeah. I have a question. But yeah, there's for a you. reason for a heavy flow. How long would you leave your tampon in for? Isn't don't you don't you get like the risk like the toxic poisoning? Wow. Wow. Yeah. You know more than we thought. Yeah. yeah. So how many so, hours? Yeah. How many what? How many hours? I said how many years? <laughs> <laughs> Stick one up there. Oh yeah, you're fine. How many hours? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I feel like I'd be like you, like crazy. Like I would check it every few and then just, you know. Yeah, yeah you're insane though. I don't want to be that one person that gets TSS. You don't even sleep with the tamp. Uh, I do if I set an alarm to take it out. In the middle of the night? Yeah, that's Wait. how I'd be. I'd be militant about Wait. it. I guess I'm just confused. Like you're going to forget in the morning that you have a tampon in. No. And just but, about your day. But if you near eight hours, that's when you can get TSS. And I sleep for eight hours. What do you sleep for? Five hours? Seven. Okay, so you just... But I mean, uh, in general, I'm going to say 99% of girls yeah. sleep with their tampons in. Yeah. Sometimes We're all I just get headaches from like leaving it in all the time and I just like need to not have a plug inside. Yeah, same. It just like, I feel like it creates like it's like a plug and then I my head starts pounding. So I'm like, ah... Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna yeah. die. Take it out. You, I forgot that you do have weird suction cup powers. Who knows yeah. what's going yeah, her on? Butt with the sucker yeah, butt is going yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's the problem. She puts the tampon in the wrong hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do. That could be true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No She's wonder just you're sucking it up. The yeah. So how many hours would you leave it in? I mean, if it's if eight is where you would get it, yeah, probably like seven and a half, seven. Oh wow. Okay, during the day. Yeah, I, I'd probably be psycho about it. Hmm. I feel like. Typically, it's girls four. change it multiple times during the day. Yeah, that's why it's not just like one all day. Trivia no, no, I, I mean, yeah, trivia. I'm just I, I obviously um, I don't have a pussy, but <laughs> if I did, it, whatever, like whatever the minimum time to leave it in is, that's probably where <laughs> I would err on. Every, no, yeah, no, no, no. I'd probably be crazy. Uh, are you aware of the difference between a pad yes. and a panty liner? Oh no, no. <laughs> Pad, okay, my understanding pad is like, it's like gauze for your... Where does it go? Um, isn't it, doesn't it have like wings? Like, can't you just like put it in the thing and it just sits in there? What thing? What thing? Uh, Alex said something funny I guess, the other day on our shoot. I thought that you like taped the pad to like your thighs. And like it just attached to you. Tape it. Like like the, like the sticky part of the pad. I thought that it went onto your body <gasps> as opposed to like taped to the underwear. Oh, oh right. my God. That's a hundred percent of ridiculous. No, it's like a, <laughs> it's like imagine it's like a trap. Like you're no. just sitting there trapped like a diaper. No, yeah, like, I thought it was like, kind of like a like a like a It's a giant pasty. Yeah, like a big pasty for your pussy. Pa- pussy pasty. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Megan the Stallion's new single. Paste uh, Pussy pasty. Um, I'm shocked by that. Speaking of taping things to yourself, I, um, I don't know. I taped some goodies to the back of my balls. To get <gasps> nice. Oh, you had you had testicle Teslas. Te- Teslas. <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking es- ecstasy. Oh, was, oh, no, no. Uh, Did you uh, use a pad to no, stick no, them no, to the back of your nuts? <gasps> what what was on the back of your nuts? Uh, uh, weed edibles and some mushrooms. Did you? Take were they wrapped in something? In a plastic bag. That I no. take. Ah, that's not that bad then. Oh, I thought they were like raw, like, like just on his thigh. On it. And just you, the. Oh, oh, and like just yeah. Yeah, just the raw gummy. Yeah, like you just use the stickiness of the gummy to stick it on. 
Oh, Alina's never Ooh. touched a weed gummy. She doesn't know how sticky it is. No, no, she has. She has. I made her. Oh, she <laughs> has. Yeah. Okay. And touched it. You have touched, yeah. but you haven't put it up your butt. No, she's not using the suction cup. <laughs> no. no. Or your mouth. No. You've never tried a weed gummy. No. That's a good move for you. I think. I think we should keep it that way. <laughs> so did the did they taste ballsy? No, no they were in a plastic bag. bag. No, ball were, juice doesn't get into plastic yeah. bags. Double double zipper. Ball yeah. juice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think our testicles juice? Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> they don't. Ju- I mean, they they sweat. They, they sweat. look they sweat. wet. Okay, yeah. And and actually, yeah, in that capacity, mm. they do juice. Then you know what I think about a lot with balls. What happens when you run? Pogo stick. We stop. We stop them out of the pogo stick, and then we go running. <sighs> Yeah, That's are all they, I have to say. When they, when you, are, they, are they <laughs> a laugh? Are they a no. clock motion or are they a front and back? Front to back. Yeah, what's the... It depends. I've Since I've gained thicker inner thighs, it's sort of There's like... There's less um, movement. No, it's like, um, you know, it's like those uh, those gag um, toys with like a ping pong ball attached to a paddle where you're just hitting it. And it's like boing, boing. Like, so it hits side to side. No, it's like hitting off the inner thigh. So they're just... they're. They're jumping. Oh, up a forward uh, motion. Yeah. Is it like when girls have boobs and like they have to like strap them down? Kind of. But recently I've uh, worn tighter shorts, so they just get all mushed in there. Nice. They just get like balled up into like a thing that just yeah. gets, It's they're very soft and flexible. Mm. It's like, they're like pizza dough. You could just mush your balls and dick together into a little... Oh my God, were you saying the thing because on Jackass he did smoosh his balls together and then use it as a paddle? Oh, that's not why I did that. Oh, I just, wow. I'm not, seeing the, I'm not seeing the new one yet. Oh my God, in the new one, he smooshes his balls to make a- Smooshes. He, to make a paddle. And then oh. he plays ping pong with his balls smooshed. Yeah. And they're completely Smooth. flattened. I just like smooshed. <laughs> Past tense of smush. Is it a waffle maker? No, it is. It is. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that how he smushed them? No, it's like two like Panini flat. Press? Alex, how do I describe this? Like They're like two like clear paddles. Paddles and then they like screw it tighter and tighter yeah. to squeeze it down into one so, paddle. Yeah, so his balls yeah. are completely flattened. Like there's yeah, nothing. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be comfortable. I'm not sure yeah. if his balls are in there. I know his is penis it, is oh, in it's there, his but wiener. I'm not sure if his balls are so in there. So your wiener can flatten, your balls probably can't. Yeah, no, yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's definitely. Yeah, I get so confused between the wiener and the balls. They just yeah. really, it's yeah. too hard to know yeah. what's going on. <laughs> Jeez. Well, like I think about that. Like guys are running, they're playing sports. There's so much commotion. There's three friends. Like commotion. <laughs> like you'd think there'd be more problems. Honestly, yeah. I guess people wear cups yep. to really secure them. Yeah. I mean, there's cups. There's there's a lot of ways to strap them down. Do you kind of like that the hamsters? People should wear cups <laughs> daily no, to make their daily. bulge look bigger. Ew! Oh, no yeah. one, Wait, people want their balls to look bigger. No, no, they're bulge. the whole thing. They're oh, bulge. Oh, oh, that would be like girls wearing padded bras. It's like guys are wearing yeah. what is it called? The the cup. A cup. A cup. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say yeah. strap. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I yeah. When I when we worked a corporate job, that would have been really funny to oh just have God. a cup in like business casual. Yeah. Oh, people man. would be like, "Can you imagine?" Fuck? Yeah. You would get like pulled in. You probably get. You probably get promoted. Yeah, harassment. <laughs> Hey, you, sir, with the cup. Yeah. Come with me. They'd probably get promoted mm. for sure. Sarah doesn't know what a BBL is. Really? No, but kind of like give me some reference so I can get like a little bit of clarity because I hate not knowing what things are now because you know I'm back in. Yeah. I'm back in. You're back in. Uh, a BBL. Okay. Wait, is, don't tell me, but like what's it in reference to? Like what's... Uh, it, it, it's really only one thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So... Big Blue Leopard. Yeah. You're lying. Super in. They were all over at Coachella. Lies. Tell me again. Brazilian butt lift. Brazilian. Is that true? Is that true? Yes. Alex is saying that it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> How can I trust you guys? Yeah. I feel like it's 2v1 right now. They, so it's Brazilian. Wait, big Brazilian. Wait. Yeah, big Big Brazilian. butt <laughs> lift. Brazilian yeah. butt lift. Okay. They, they like take all the fat from other parts of your body and like make your waist really slim mm. and then your butt really big. They inject it into the ass. Okay. I like it. Sure. 
Bigger butts. Interesting that you don't know what that is, but you watch the Kardashians. I do. I love keeping up. Um, this is just proof, you know, this just highlights that as humans, you know, we focus on certain things. Yeah. Sarah is, is a good person. She looks past the ass. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, great butt. I don't know how you did it, but great butt. I know they squat. I know they get up early and squat. Like, I just assume yeah. that if I just squat more. Every bodybuilder just rolled over in their grave. <laughs> Ronnie Coleman is shrieking from his home right now. I guess I just don't understand. Like, so you put the fat in your butt, mm -hmm. but and then how it does it stay there? It's just in there. Your butt is like a protective wall. Like, it, yeah. the fat isn't going to move out of the butt. Like, no. what if all of a sudden it drips to your, like, upper thigh and, like, one thigh is just, like super chunky that's a good point I, actually i want i think that it I does believe move that could happen right yeah, yeah. i think it can it's not watch. worth it not worth it to me to just randomly what if i have one fat thigh can't yeah. do it yeah <laughs> not worth it but disproportionate yeah like you, you got what you got man yeah. yeah i mean i'm sure their butts were super nice before the bbl yeah i just can't believe it like I love, I love it. I love. I don't think everyone knows what BBL means. Uh, Sarah. Brazilian butt lift. I'm gonna in interject here and say, damn near everyone knows what BBL. Really? Means. Yeah. Well, I guess if Noel knows, then I don't know. And Noel's a boy. Do boys get BBLs? Yeah. Oh yeah. Stop. All the time. No, yeah. that's not. That's not true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You think? All the time. Yeah. Boys more than men. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do that? Do you refer to <laughs> men as boys? Yeah. Like, because you still think of yourself as a child? I still wow, think I can get... What a deep question. I still think I can get kidnapped. I'm 100% positive that <laughs> I will get kidnapped you before can get the age adult of 40. Napped. Yeah. I often think about when I walk around a truck pulling up next to me, sliding that door open, and then me getting yanked inside. 100%. You guys are so full of yourself. It could happen. <laughs> I know. I am so cute. I am totally getting kidnapped. Yeah. There's of no all, way. Of all the women in this I'm town. I'm not <laughs> What? I'm not worthy. I would kidnap you, Alina, for of sure. Of a van kidnap? <laughs> you're you're short enough that I would mistake you for any time <laughs> 10, 11. Are you saying Alina would get kidnapped on accident? <laughs> they would, they would oh, put shit, her... Oh, shit, Yeah, they put her in the truck and then get all of a sudden like, oh, she's fucking... She's of age. <laughs> Ew. And then they kick her out. <laughs> they'd see her from behind walking Ollie and they'd be like, this has to be a 10-year-old. Yeah. And then they would snack, snack her. <laughs> she's a little snack. Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. And then they'd pull the bag off and then go, oh, damn it. Shit. She, you think she you pays insurance. <laughs> Get her out of this fucking car. <laughs> no, I'm saying that, you know, it's not that you guys aren't worthy, but it's like, if you're going to kidnap someone, like, you want to kidnap, like, the highest ransom, you know, yeah. like, the k kidnapping a regular person, yeah. you don't want that. Yeah. Some people just nap to nap, though. Like, that's true. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, yeah. the, no rhyme or reason. They're just like, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. When you that. walk past people, do you think about how you could fight them? Every day. Yeah. Every day. Same. I'm like, sometimes I walk and I'm like a little nervous and I'm like, they're old. I could take them. <laughs> yeah. Or like, do you ever think like, okay, I'm not wearing a ponytail today, so I'm less easy to grab. Yes, yes. hundred percent. Cut my hair so there's no way they're going to mistake me yeah. for yeah. a 12-year-old. Yeah. Easy exactly. to nap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. You have to wear the proper things. Yeah. Or I else. I don't know who has more tests here, me or you yeah. two. You guys have way more tests than I do. You guys are just walking around like, I'll fuck this guy up. Yeah, I, I could beat the day. fuck out of this old person. Like, well, is that why you box? So you don't get kidnapped? Uh, no. I just did that for fun. But then I, now I think about how I'm going to attack people if they come near me. Have you ever thought about how you would fight somebody? Yeah. Because I always think I would be really good at fighting if I could sneak Suck attack their dick? behind. What? <laughs> That's what I think about. I th if someone I would suck my dick in a fight, I'm like, damn, they're good at fighting. <laughs> <laughs> it is a way to disarm someone. It is. <laughs> Alex told me he got in a street fight and he went straight for the guy's pants. <laughs> but then the other guy was pretending to be angry. He was like, bro, what are you doing? Fight what are you over. doing? Here's my number. <laughs> I, I will say like you, you don't, you can think about how you're going to fight, but in reality, like, you're as a as like we if yeah. we're fighting a guy we are supposed to go for their, their penis, penis yeah. or their like, eyes like your mouth and hands <laughs> <laughs> i think about that a lot because like i'm like i'll scratch or pinch but those really aren't good no those are 
Scratch? Pinch? Is, no, no. Pinch. But Pinch. if you pinch somebody, like in the back of their oh, arm. Oh, yeah, that the is painful. Hurts. It'll stop somebody. No. And then you could wiggle away. No. I'm quick. Wiggle? If I can get out of a situation, pow, 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 I'm fucking fast. You can't catch me. But <laughs> <laughs> I can just pinch them really quick and then I'm gone. I you know? I think nails and eyes is a more reliable. Mm. Just the, got mine the, trimmed. I'm locked too. The crazy thing, uh, I've always heard that it's almost better for women to not fight because that may agitate the aggressor more. Hell no. I, I actually, I genuinely think jujitsu is the way. Yeah. Because if Pull you're... Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. That, that's if you're getting choked. Yep. Do you know you're, that one? No. If you're, someone's trying to slide... Their, there's newer techniques now, so it doesn't always work. Oh. But if someone's trying to slide their arm under your neck, yeah. you answer the phone. To, so they have to... Oh. You like block it. I'm learning so much if I ever get napped. No, actually, I'm, I'm saying this with 100% seriousness. No, I know. Because there's a lot of girls that listen to this. Yeah. I yeah. think, yeah. Then we can end the hour on this really, really grim thing. Do you no. want to do two? No, I think jujitsu is, because I remember when I trained jits for a little bit, this dude would teach his girlfriend, and he was like a black belt. He was a really good grappler. And um, he'd always tell me, He's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sometimes I'm I'm actually tougher on my girlfriend about learning than I am myself because I always tell her if you get in a bad situation, it's not going to be in the street. It's going to be like in a in a cramped. It's going to mm-hmm. be in a park, like a maybe the back of a car or you know mm-hmm. some small space because like, they're probably going to try to corner you. Yeah. So that's when you could, as a woman, use your whole body. You know, use your hips to try to control the situation, choke someone out, whatever. Choke. Yeah, it's called a triangle choke. You get you slip their arm through and you lash you basically lat, lock your legs around them and then you pull their arm across their neck and you and you squeeze and you arch up Boa and constrictor. Mhm. Yeah. Or you could try to break arms or whatever. Or you could just suck a dick. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> or pinch. Don't forget God, pinching. No. God. Yeah. Just try to pinch someone. No, I think they'll freak out. I think pogo sticking their balls <gasps> is the second best option. I actually won a pogo stick competition when I was a kid. <laughs> I pogoed f- like o- almost 2000 times. Yeah, you could guy, not get me off a of pogo. That, that guy that guy must have been really satisfied. <laughs> <laughs>